God's special message is only for you. Don't make the mistake of leaving it. God wants to solve all your problems. In the last 30 seconds, God will answer all your questions. So watch the full video. My beloved child, every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. This truth I want you to grasp and hold dear to your heart. In the tapestry of life I have woven for you, each thread has its purpose, each color its meaning. Even in the darkest of times, when shadows seem to engulf you, there are pinpoints of light waiting to be discovered. Take a moment, my child, to appreciate the small joys and blessings that often go unnoticed. In your hurried life, in the rush of your daily pursuits, you sometimes overlook the treasures I have strewn along your path. Slow down. Open your eyes. Open your heart. For in these seemingly insignificant moments lies a wealth of joy and a depth of meaning that can transform your perspective. I have created this world with intricate detail and breathtaking beauty. From the delicate petals of a flower to the majestic expanse of the cosmos, my handiwork surrounds you. Each sunrise paints the sky with hues of hope. Each sunset reminds you of my faithfulness that endures through the night. The gentle breeze that caresses your cheek. The melodious song of a bird. The comforting aroma of your favorite meal. These are all whispers of my love for you. In the smile of a stranger. In the kind word of a friend. In the unexpected act of generosity. I am present. These are the brushstrokes of goodness I paint across your days. They may seem small, perhaps even trivial, but they are sacred gifts from my hand to yours. Recognize them. Cherish them. Let them kindle a flame of gratitude in your heart. My child, I know the burdens you carry. I see the struggles you face. I understand the pain that sometimes threatens to overwhelm you. But remember, I am the God who brings beauty from ashes, who turns mourning into dancing. Even in your darkest hour, I am working all things together for your good. Trust in my promise, for I am faithful to complete the good work I have begun in you. When you face trials, look for the lessons embedded within them. When you encounter obstacles, search for the opportunities they present. When you experience loss, Open your heart to the new beginnings that await. For in every challenge lies a chance for growth. In every difficulty an invitation to draw closer to me. Let gratitude be the lens through which you view your life. It has the power to transform your outlook. To shift your focus from what you lack to the abundance you possess. Start and end each day by counting your blessings. Name them one by one. And watch as your heart swells with joy and your spirit lifts in praise. Remember the simple pleasures that bring a smile to your face. The warmth of sunlight on your skin, the comfort of a soft bed after a long day, the satisfaction of a task well done, the laughter shared with loved ones. These are not mere coincidences or random occurrences. They are intentional gifts, carefully chosen and lovingly bestowed upon you by your Heavenly Father. In moments of doubt or despair, when it seems that goodness is hard to find, pause and reflect on my word. For I have promised you that I work all things for the good of those who love me, who are called according to my purpose. Trust in this promise. Dear child, if you wish to help our ministry in spreading the message of Jesus, kindly consider supporting us by donating through the Buy Me A Coffee link provided in the description and pinned comment, even when you cannot see its fulfillment. For my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I clothe them in splendor greater than Solomon in all his glory. How much more do I care for you, my precious child, if I take such care with the flowers that bloom today and wither tomorrow? How much more do I tend to your needs, both seen and unseen? When you feel overwhelmed by the cares of this world, come to me. Cast all your anxieties upon me, for I care for you. In the quiet moments of prayer and meditation, pour out your heart to me. I am always listening, 
always attentive to your cries. Let my peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and mind. Find joy in the journey, not just the destination. Life is not merely about reaching goals, but about growing, learning, and becoming. Each day is a gift, an opportunity to experience my love anew, to witness my grace in action, to partake in the adventure of faith. Embrace each moment, for in it lies the potential for wonder and discovery. When you wake each morning, before your feet touch the ground, whisper a prayer of thanksgiving for the gift of a new day, for the breath in your lungs, for the potential that lies ahead. This simple act of gratitude sets the tone for your day, opening your eyes to the myriad blessings that await. As you go about your daily tasks, look for opportunities to be a blessing to others. For in giving, you receive. In loving, you are loved. In serving, you find purpose. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. For you are my handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which I prepared in advance for you to do. Remember, my child, that you are never alone. I am with you always, to the very end of the age. In moments of joy, I rejoice with you. In times of sorrow, I weep with you. In periods of uncertainty, I guide you. My presence is your constant companion. My love, your eternal shelter. When you feel weak, remember that my strength is made perfect in weakness. When you feel inadequate, recall that I have chosen the foolish things of the world to shame the wise, the weak things to shame the strong. For in your vulnerability, my power is displayed. In your humility, my grace abounds. Take time each day to be still and know that I am God. In the hustle and bustle of life, carve out moments of quiet reflection. Listen for my still, small voice, for I speak not always in the wind, the earthquake, or the fire, but often in the gentle whisper that touches your heart. Feel free to share this video with up to three people. If you feel the need for God's presence, let others too bask in the divine light of our Heavenly Father. Let my word be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Meditate on it day and night, for in its pages you will find wisdom for living, comfort for your soul, and guidance for your journey. My promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Cling to them, for they are your anchor in stormy seas. When you look at others, see them through my eyes. For each person you encounter is created in my image, fearfully and wonderfully made. Treat them with kindness and respect, for in doing so, you honor me. Let love be your guiding principle, compassion your constant companion, in your interactions with others. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For the tongue has the power of life and death. Use your words to build up not tear down, to encourage, not discourage, to speak life into situations and people. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt. As you navigate the complexities of relationships, remember my command to love one another as I have loved you. Forgive as you have been forgiven. Extend grace as grace has been extended to you. For in the giving and receiving of love, you reflect my very nature. When you face decisions, big or small, seek my wisdom. For if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask me, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge me, and I will make your path straight. In moments of celebration, lift your voice in praise. Let gratitude overflow from your heart in songs of joy and thanksgiving, for I inhabit the praises of my people. Your worship is a sweet aroma to me, a testament to your faith and trust in my goodness. When you stumble and fall, do not be discouraged, for the righteous fall seven times and rise again. My mercies are new every morning.
Great is my faithfulness. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and continue on the path I have set before you. For I am the God of second chances, of new beginnings, of restoration and redemption. Remember that your life is a testimony to my grace. Your story is still being written, and I am the author. Each chapter, whether filled with triumph or trial, is purposefully penned. Trust the narrative I am crafting, for it is far more beautiful and meaningful than you can imagine. When you look in the mirror, see yourself as I see you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, knit together in your mother's womb. You are my masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus for good works. Do not let the world define your worth. Your value comes not from what you do, but from whose you are. In your pursuit of success, remember that true greatness in my kingdom often looks different from the world's definition. It is found in serving, in humility, in putting others before yourself. For whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. As you set goals and make plans, hold them loosely. For while the heart of man plans his way, it is I who establishes his steps. Be open to my leading, sensitive to my spirit's guidance. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Trust that my plans for you are good, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. In times of waiting, cultivate patience, for I am never late but always on time. My timing is perfect, even when it doesn't align with your expectations. Use these seasons of waiting to grow in faith, to deepen your trust, to prepare for what lies ahead. For those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. When you feel insignificant or overlooked, remember that I have called you by name. You are mine. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Nothing can separate you from my love. Not height nor depth, and not angels nor demons, not the present nor the future. My love for you is everlasting, unchanging, unshakable. If you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button, because this message took us a lot of efforts. In moments of fear or anxiety, Recall my promise that I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Perfect love, my love, casts out all fear. Rest in the assurance that I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, you need not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. As you interact with the world around you, be salt and light. Let your life be a testament to my transforming power. In a world that often seems dark, be a beacon of hope. In a society that values self-promotion, demonstrate humility. In a culture that glorifies instant gratification, show the beauty of patience and perseverance. Remember that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Honor me with your body. Take care of yourself, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Rest when you need to rest. For even I, the creator of the universe, rested on the seventh day. Find balance in your life, for in doing so, you reflect the harmony of my creation. When you pray, pray with faith. Believe that I hear every word, that I understand every unspoken longing of your heart. Come to me with boldness, yet with humility. Pour out your heart like water before my presence. Lift up your hands to me for the lives of your children, for the needs that surround you. For the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. In your quest for knowledge and understanding, remember that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. For in me are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. As you navigate the complexities of this world, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. Let his life be your example. 
his teachings your guide, his sacrifice your inspiration, for in him you live and move and have your being. Type Amen in the comments and don't forget to share this message with up to three people so that God can help you when you feel tempted. Remember that I am faithful. I will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, I will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. In times of abundance, practice generosity, for it is more blessed to give than to receive. Use the resources I have entrusted to you to bless others, to further my kingdom, to make a difference in the world around you. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. When you face persecution or misunderstanding because of your faith, rejoice. For blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. Remember, if the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. As you grow older, do not lose heart. Though outwardly you are wasting away, yet inwardly you are being renewed day by day. For your light and momentary troubles are achieving for you an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So fix your eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. In your relationships, strive for unity. For how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters live together in harmony. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. When you feel weak in your faith, remember that a bruised reed I will not break, and a smoldering wick I will not snuff out. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. As you navigate the digital age, use technology wisely. Let it be a tool for spreading my love, for encouraging others, for building community. But guard your heart against its pitfalls. Do not let virtual connections replace real, meaningful relationships. Remember that true community is found in gathering together, in breaking bread, in sharing life. When you encounter those who are different from you, in beliefs, in culture, in background, approach them with love and respect. For I have made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth. In Christ, there is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. Amen.